welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, a brand new season of Midwest Grilling with Mad Dog Merrill and Fast Freddy and the Keyboards. We are in Shawna, Wisconsin. We are in front of the Sun Drop University Museum and Gift Shop. Stay tuned, we're gonna do some great stuff for you folks. Oh, I can't wait. Give you a good time, yeah. Merrill. Another you ready season. There, Freddy boy? I'm not... Oh, Freddy's oh, ready. Freddy, Look at Freddy. them blowing them keyboards, man. man. He ain't stopping yet. He ain't uh, done yet. Pit Boss Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill Midwest Grillin'. Brought to you by Pit Boss Grills, Griddles and Accessories, Louisiana Grills and Smokers, The Power of Wisconsin Potatoes, Sun Drop Soda, Cherry Delight, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Shooting Star Casinos, The Wisconsin Agriculture Tourism Association, and by Lash Pro Visual Communications. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Fast Freddy on the keyboards. He had to practice, practice, practice in order to make it to Carnegie Hall. I think that chopsticks version. You know why That's Freddy's right. doing that? Because we're doing griddle sticks. That's, That's right. what he said. Griddle stick. I griddle can't stick. wait. I know. <laughs> we're, 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 we got the Pit Boss four burner griddle behind us. We got griddle sticks on the grill, and we got sun drop soda. The, uh, the first segment, let's work up a thirst. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay? Freddy Freddy's knows. already, he's already. Yeah, ready ready look at my new bar. I think, I think that's the understatement. I think that's the understatement of the year. He's always worked up a thirst, you know. Exactly right. Uh, we are our good friends at Sundrop University. You know, a little quick history. 1951, uh, Floyd Hartwig, uh, he sent money back from the Korean War. He started Sundrop Soda. We're into the second and third generation. Our good friend Dan and Diane. And they got three lovely boys, uh, good boys, Lucas, Ben, and Jake, oh. uh, taking over the business someday soon. But they're all working, and it's a great little facility. Family owned for since 1951. Great That's place. Right. Great yes. place. You know, it's a fantastic place. They've got a nice museum there. Don't forget that we have sun drop days come up in June, which is always a good time. So it's a the, good place to come to Oak Island. The first Oklahoma. Friday and Saturday. First Friday. Yeah. Is it appropriate for me to say if you go around the corner, you realize they also have the Bottle House the, uh, uh, on Main Street, right. the Bottle House Antiques. Yes, exactly yeah. right. So it's a great little. It's a destination. Yes, but it let's is. get to do a little cooking, shall okay, we? Okay, that's <laughs> a destination. We, we promise you some griddle sticks. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, All right. We're gonna start with doing a mop sauce. All right, sounds good. I love mop sauce. Oh, I do too. Now, down south, down south, mop sauces exist. Uh, about heavy brewed coffee. They got butter. They got oh. black pepper, and they got a little bit of Worcestershire in there. That's a regular yeah. mop sauce. Yep, it is. That's but, great but you too. can do your own little version. Our mop sauce today, of course, is going to have to do with our good friends at Sundrop. I'm going to use a regular one, not a diet. Okay. I want that nice, real sugar in there. <laughs> so when you when you get Sundrop in the beautiful bottles, and when you come to Sundrop Museum, there's a gift shop. Right. And you can also yep. pick up bottles and cases uh, <laughs> daily. There's people going in and out oh, of cases. Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, 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 but this is the real sugar, the real original recipe of Sundrop. And we're going to pour uh, Sundrop in our cast iron skillet. This is a nice Pit Boss cast iron skillet, boy. I'll tell you what. So just enough sun drop in there, and and I thought we'd do something a little bit unusual. Okay. This is this is a uh, coconut, not milk, but cream. So cream floats to the top of milk. Yes. That, like a butter. Interesting. So it's coconut cream, and I'm just kind of hoping that this is set up for. <laughs> I <can't> <laughs> hope it works. Hope it don't curdle. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what it is is there's a. Uh, I visited my daughter in Oshkosh, and we walked her dogs. And we stopped at a uh, Hmong market, okay, uh, yeah. a, a, a grocery store <laughs> sure. on North Jackson Street. And uh, look at that heavy cream. That's coconut cream. So we're well, going to just gonna a, be yeah, coconut cream in there. But we're, for a mop sauce, it's ideal for it. It that, really is. That's the whole idea. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. a genius. And, right. and the sun drop soda supplies the carbonation and the sugar and the acid you need. There's two sticks of butter in there. Ooh. And at that same market, we picked up some of that gorgeous uh, garlic chili. I wonder oh, how that yeah. bottle got half gone. I've only had it a week. <laughs> I love this stuff. Now that's going to add a little oh. bit of zest to it. So that's going to that'll get you going, Freddie. Oh, You're okay. going to be playing that piano just <laughs> like crazy. Now, now here's the trick. Uh, we're going to be using turmeric, and we're going to be using ginger and garlic throughout the whole show in different recipes. This is actually turmeric root. So just like ginger is a root, so is turmeric, <laughs> and so it's cre and it's got a nice earthly flavor, but it's uh, anti-inflammatory. So it's sure. great for your arthritis. It's great right. for. Uh, 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 mussels and everything else. So we're going to add some turmeric root in there. <laughs> we're going to add ginger root. I got a whole bunch of ginger. So we're going to 
love ginger. I love ginger. So we're gonna let that mellow, and then we have garlic. And Nora, here, what the heck, you know what? I got my nice little... Smash her away, yeah. man. <laughs> there, that's yeah, our table. There. That was all we initiated. We again. got about seven cloves of garlic in there. Oh, oh. And, and I think that's gonna be a nice little mop sauce. You know, I, well, I got... That's good. I mean, people don't realize using mop sauces all the time. It's use a mop sauce because you really don't have a big sugar, sugar base, even though you got it in the sun drop. You and, know? It, and if you go under either Louisiana Grills, but you go under Pit Boss Accessories, uh, we got ourselves a nice little mop today, yeah. too. So I'm gonna get our mop sauce on the grill. That's gonna simmer because I let the roots uh, and, and the garlic kind of get going a little bit, Good. so I got to get that on first. So we're going to melt that butter away. All right, well, I'm going to do some par <laughs> cooking. You know, there again, I got the old pit boss cast. Boy, I'll tell you what, if my wife ever got a hold of these, I'd be in trouble. That's, for That's sure. right, but, boy, you got to watch uh, out. Very easy to do. We're going to par cook these. Nice, low, medium, nice heat. We're not going to boil them <laughs> for par cooking them. So I'm going to use some uh, sun Oh, yeah, sun drop soda. You got you there, buddy. You want to do that? That's a great idea. Yeah, we're going to do We're going to par cook these for about 30 minutes on the griddle. Place them right in the pan here. Go ahead and you pour them right Label in there, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. All right. And this is the one thing I like about it is you wanted to add a lot of different types of flavor. Like he's done with the mop sauce. We're doing this for the par cookie for the chicken. So obviously, I'm going to start with a little cumin because it's a nice sort of a hearty, sort of more of a chili flavor on there. They got some turmeric on there also. You got a little ginger. Ginger. And obviously, jarred garlic. Oh, now, baby. I like the jarred garlic just for the fact that it's easy, it's already minced. If you want to use fresh garlic, you can definitely do that. Let's use a little that. bit of our mangoes. Is that yep, what you got go there? for it. That's what we'll do. Pour it so in So that's there. a mango hot sauce. Mango puree is the first ingredient. It's a Mad Dog and Mero product. Ooh, that's probably pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it better be a Mad Dog and Mero product. <laughs> no, I mean enough sure. quantity. Right, right. Oop, and then a little bit of butter, maybe? A little bit of butter there. When I get this one on here, I want to stir this up first, get that going. A stick of butter. I use butter. I love it. Butter makes a big, big difference, especially it, on this dish here too. It really does. Well, butter. you go to Darboy, Wisconsin. I, I think it's where it is. They got the the butter chicken every Saturday or Wednesday. Oh yeah, that's it is. right. That's but it's right. butter baked chicken. I think that baby. My dad used to go there all the time with the Palmans. All right, we got a little chicken thighs there. Oh boy. Oh guys, I'll I got turn those, three uh, of uh, them. I'll so. turn those skin side down to begin all with. Right. We'll coat them a little bit. How's that? Ooh, got boy, three that of them, really buddy. I know what we're gonna do here. So so uh, basically, <laughs> when you par cooking, when you got a lot of flavor like that, right? It's kind of like an Inside out marinade. It's a fast little marinade. Yeah, it is. So it works out good. They're getting slow cooking, slow cooking. What you want to do there. Take the thighs off around 170 degrees. Back to the meat thermometer. If you use a meat thermometer, you're foolproof all the way. Trust me, you definitely are foolproof. So, all right. What do you got there? Yeah, that's exactly what the I'm meat talking thermometer about. Right there. All right. So, I'll tell you what. Merrill told me his little recipe. So, here's what we did. We can't do three little chicken thighs because no. that would be just enough for Freddy, Mad Dog, and, well, Freddy. Freddy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so here's what we did. Okay. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so we got a, a 72 count of pre-cooked drumsticks, <laughs> or as we call them, bum, 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 Griddle sticks. Griddle, griddle sticks. <laughs> so we got some griddle sticks there. And I would think those would still deserve a, a nice heavy rub on there. Yeah. I Why mean, you want, to really, you want to really add the flavor to it. I mean, that's that's one thing we get a lot of people asking us about is, boy, you guys sure use a lot of spices and seasonings. Use it. I can't stand people that are doing a dish and all of a sudden they put a quarter teaspoon of like garlic or something. You got to have there. flavor. You got to add flavor. It's very important. Yes, so, we and low sodium. So sodium is a garlic pepper blend. This is our grilling magic. That's pr pretty much only 55 milligrams of sodium per. So we're gonna, that's gonna be our base. Okay. Right, yep, sounds good. And, and like then what, what you used, uh, turmeric? Yep, yep. So we'll add some turmeric in there to give us some nice flavor. Looks like we don't need to do much. Those, those drumsticks look pretty orange already. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Cumin's gonna give it some good earthly flavor. So there's no oh, right or there's cool. no wrong about a rub. Oh, it's sort of boy. like cleaning out your uh, spice cabinet. You know what I'm saying? You can it, use whatever you like to do. They do it a lot of times. So and it's keeping down on the stuff. sodium content too, right? Yes, for sure. And ginger, a lot of ginger. I love it, 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 I love it. All right, beautiful. Okay, I got gloves on almost. Okay, good, please. Okay, okay. Oh, smell that aroma right yeah. there. Yeah, that's enough oh, for all those, right? How are we going to do that, Merle? Um, throw them on top and just shake, rattle, and roll, man. Just. I'll sprinkle on top. How's that? And then I'll shake rattle. The exercise. Would you hold program. that for me like you're working? Sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, oh, watch boy, out with him. Wind down, wind down. Coming your way, Phil. That's going to work oh, yeah, out that's good. Work out good. Yeah. So we're just doing a rub. You know why? Because we're putting them on the griddle. I could oil them, but I'm just going to put a dry rub on there and just coat them a little bit to add some nice flavor. All right. And Merrill mentioned, here's one thing we don't want to do. These are already cooked up to the 160, 165 degrees. Right, right. These babies are done. All we're doing is bringing them back to life again, if you will. So we have our, our nice little griddle. Boy, that mop sauce cooking already. Yeah, look at that. And, uh, oh, here we go. Let's just get those babies on, shall we? That's I why I like time. doing live TV. You know, well, you see the whole thing, how it's done. So we're going to wet these as we go. <laughs> and we got a couple of different ways we're going to wet them. That one is with the mop sauce. All right. And one, we're going to have a little trick coming up in the next little segment here. But I could predict what the trick is, too. we got one drumstick on the ground. We'll save that one for Freddie. Yep. <laughs> well, so we'll save that babies. one for Freddie's friends coming. <laughs> I'm trying to save some room because I'll tell you what, I got a little secret I tried. This is experimentation. Let's All get right. these babies on the grill. I'm going to save a little room. Now, remember, I'm just going to heat those up, so we're going to rotate those around. So gotcha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm I gonna, understand. Yep. You know, he gave away the secret on the rub. This is not like the seven secret herbs and spices. <laughs> right. You know that? He tells them exactly how to make these. That's the way to go. <laughs> it is. It is. So I had, I wanted this so bad for myself, but I thought this is going to be great on the grill. I love pineapple on the grill. Oh. Yeah. So last night, last night I took oh, a, a right. bottle of Sun Drop, raw sugar, and ginger. Simple. You can smell that right from here. Yeah, yeah, and all we did was we <laughs> marinated those wedges of pineapple, and you can see they're all wet, and they've absorbed all the flavor. And all we're simply going to do is take a little bit of oil. I don't have oil. We're just going to put them on the way they is. Okay. And I'm just going to score those a little bit on both sides. Mm -hmm. We're going to let everything cook for just a second or two. And, Freddie, do you know anything besides chopsticks? Of course I do. Well, then play it. Get us out of here. We'll be right back with more on that. Nugget Mills Midwest Grill and right after this. Hey, welcome back to Man Nugget Mills Midwest Grill. We're mopping and slopping, mopping and slopping with sun drop sodas, we guess. Oh, <laughs> Boy, that mop sauce smells great, it don't does. it? It does. That looks absolutely <laughs> That's delicious. That's the combination of the sun drop and the, and, and the coconut milk and that ginger and that mm. turmeric. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, I should have delicious. spell a vision on it, folks. It's really, really good. You know, you know really the, 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 watching the show is fun, but when you come to Shauna, Wisconsin, you got to go to the Sundrop University Museum and Gift Shop. Right. Because when you first enter, you go to the theater, you sit down, you watch a little history of Sundrop Soda. Right. Then you stroll down Shano of yesteryears. they got a beautiful little uh, 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 museum-type atmosphere of yesterday's yeah. Shano was. And right. so they keep on adding on and on and on. I was surprised I just went through that again. It's like, holy cow. I know. It's stuff. always, always new. And then, and, yeah. then, and then you watch Bottling of Sundrop Soda Live or Twig Soda Live. Now, they got another name brand, the Twigs, with about uh, 11 different great flavors, four of which are diet. Phenomenal stuff. We'll get to great. that. And then you belly up to the tasting bar. That's, That's what I right. wanted to say. But do you remember the name Spencer Young? Spencer Young. That's an old name. Spencer Young did this beautiful mural, and she's oh, throwing you a kiss. Right. That's right, exactly. Well, what a gorgeous mural. We shot a show last year when the young man was just starting He the mural. was here, yes. Yeah, you reminded me of that, Boy, Freddie. Isn't that, ever beautiful? isn't that a great little mural? Wow. And I'll tell you what, and we mentioned a little bit earlier, when you come to Sean, a lot of great things to do. Sun drop days are always the first Friday and Saturday of June. And once again, the Bottle House Antique, right across the street on Main Street. Uh, Dan owns that, and he's got about, I want to say, I think he said 90. Yes. I think there's 90 different uh, exhibits of antiques or stations of antiques, and you can do that. So it's a great time. It really is a good time. I didn't mention the website yet, twigsbeverage.net, twigsbeverage.net. Go to it, and it'll be just amazing. Good, great time. I'm going to ramble one more time. Look at sure. all we're doing. So we, we, we <laughs> first show of the year, Meryl and I are always on the road during right. the winter. We're at home and garden shows, sports shows. We met so many great people in La Crosse, Duluth, Dubuque, Fort Wayne, Milwaukee, and Green Bay that came and saw us. It's right. phenomenal. So many people that uh, that poured their hearts out to us. It was great. And you people, I think you're in lacrosse. I'm going to tell you this one right here. Sun drop, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop. Because every time we say the word sun drop throughout the year, oh, that's right. they, they take a drink. <laughs> They're going to be yeah, I about taking a now. drink. I'm getting Come thirsty. on. Hey, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop, sun drop. <laughs> speaking of drinks. Hey, speaking of drinks, this is one of my favorites. This sort of nice, relaxing drink on a day like today. Yes. The sun's out. Obviously, we're going to use some regular sun drop. 
But I'm going to use a little triple seconds of Jim Beam uh, bourbon here today, all right? <laughs> and I even brought the orange for you, too, Freddie, which oh, you like. Oh, brother. Yeah. Easy to do, just a simple drink, but it's really nice and refreshing. The triple sec really makes a big difference. Yeah, that's going to be something new. I've never tried to yeah, add a triple sec. Yeah, this is really good. The place with the orange on there makes a big difference. You really don't want to overdo it with the, the triple sec, but you want to add a little bit of flavor. It's got a little bit of a orange flavor to it, the triple sec does. So, I like yeah. that. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little topper. All right. And then, of course, you got to have a sun drop in there. That's what really makes a difference because they got a little bit of carbonation. Grab the sweetness in there. Fill that right <laughs> up. Oh, it's going to be good. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this now, Freddy boy. It is. The sun is getting hot, the too. Drop. Obviously, here, let me get this here. I got a little bit of. Oh, a little, little squeeze. A little squeeze of that. Now we got to do this for you, sir. Well, that's what makes it. There you go. There you go, sir. <laughs> enjoy, it doesn't enjoy. look dark enough for Freddy. Yeah, Look there you that. go. Enjoy it, Freddy boy. Pick Be it somebody. Drink drink. Tell us what it tastes like, Freddy. You're the man of the hour. You're Welcome. the side dish. Yeah. Everywhere we go, where's Freddy? Where's oh, Freddy? Yeah, where's Freddy's Freddy? not with us. Oh, my oh, God. God. Where's the piano player? How is that, Freddy? <laughs> tasty. Really? Yeah, I bet really it is. Tasty. I bet it, it is. Really I, is. I have a treat for myself. I've got a great sun drop. I, I went to the gift shop oh. after my tour, and I picked up a sun drop glass, and I'm going to pour myself a glass of diet soda. Okay. And in front of us, I have one of the few, uh, uh, one of the several flavors. This is diet root beer, so we're going to pour a nice glass of diet root beer in there, a little effervescence there. Their new one is cola, and it's just going like hotcakes. <laughs> they got a new cola, and it's going like hotcakes. So we're going to pour some cola in there. And then we got blue raspberry. These are just some of the tasting bar ones. Blue oh, raspberry. Yeah, a lot of them. And we got the, a diet black cherry. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. That may be my new favorite. You're setting up your own tasting room right here. <laughs> <laughs> roast. Roast, 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 everybody. Mm. I'll tell you what. Twigsbeverage.net. Great place. Great destination. It's actually for a hard address. It's at 920 South Franklin Street. Fast Freddy, take us out of here with one hand or two. You got a bar there. Well set. Oh, yeah. Sit back and relax. Enjoy, everybody. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Sundrop University Museum and Gift Shop in Shawano, Wisconsin. Oh, Our good yeah. friends at Sundrop Soda. I'll tell you what, here's another great idea. Get yourself a little garden misting bottle. Get yourself a little garden <laughs> misting bottle. Pour some sun drop in there. About a cup of sun drop, a half a cup of sun drop, just so it covers the bottom. It's only for a one day's use. It's a mister in place of a mop saw. So I'm gonna do that coconut milk, that cream. Ooh. And oil. We also wanna re reestablish oil because we oil a lot of the meat products before we put them on the grill. And all we simply do Let's put that back together. You don't have to shake up the carbonation. Just swirl. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like James Bond. You just swirl it a little bit. And all we simply do is come over here and on our chicken wings, we give little mistings of love. Yeah. Little mistings of love over the top instead of the mop sauce or as a finishing sauce like I'm doing right now just to reestablish some of the flavors that we added. You know, we talk about that on our show when we travel around the United States. We had a lot of people that never knew the, of doing that. Remember, they're coming up and say, gee, they never did that. Boy, did that really make a difference? It does make a big difference. And we tell everybody in competition has a misting bottle for every cut of meat. Theirs is to win competition. Ours is to hide from the in-laws. Right. <laughs> so, so the next time the in-laws are over, gentlemen or ladies, whoever does the cooking, you want to hide from the in-laws, tell them you got to go out and do the mopping. you got to yep, do some mopping. Exactly. i got to do a little, little mopping. I'll be right back. <laughs> exactly. Or a little misting. But you hide from the in-laws, and that's the key thing. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, are you ready to taste some drumsticks? Yeah. Holy grab a drummer smoke. there, Merrill. Uh, grab a drummer. Freddy, oh, you grab not, a drumstick not, not, there. I'm my way through. It yes, cool it is. Oh, man. A little bit, right? All right. Oh, yes. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Oh. Oh, my. I was worried. Oh, good. Oh, my. This is outstanding. You know, I called Merrill the other day because I was doing What'd some stuff. What'd you call stuff. him? I was doing some chicken breasts, and I'll I said, tell you what I call them. these things are just too plain. I said, what are you supposed to do? He said, oh Freddie, and he got out, and he said, you better take and you put some oil on those babies, get some Grandma Hazels, and put all the stuff on there. They were great, but I got to tell you, this is outstanding. Uh, 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 unbelievable. Wait, what, what, you what? You play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you to our producer who came up with this beautiful look set at here. Look at it. Because now oh, I have to now there's to set time. my food. Yes. Rod Kolosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you got your degree in sundropology today. Peace, love, and happy barbecuing, folks. Hey, happy July, everybody. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillum is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.